All right, well, what's up, Wolf Pack? How we doing? Happy Sunday. Uh, I'm coming to you a little quick video here for Monday's workout. Uh, a lot of stuff. A few new exercises that I've, I've hyperlinked with some YouTube videos that should help. Um, but I just want to go over it real quick with you guys. Uh, make sure we're all on the same page and we're getting kind of out of it what, uh, what we should. So, uh, again, A, got a little warm-up or some movement prep uh, that's going to prepare us for B and C. Again, um, change that is needed, add time, add reps, uh, add additional stuff to it as well if you need. Um, but it should prepare you pretty well for, for B and C uh, and what's going on. So 30-second um, hip flexor stretch. So this is just like the quad stretch on the wall. When we do this, remember, guys, there's, there's two different ways we can do it. We can put our knee closer to the wall, and it actually becomes more of like a quad stretch. Or if we're looking for like a true hip flexor stretch, uh, more of that like kind of psoas area, bring your knee further away from the wall, and then drive the hip flexor and the hip socket actually forward. You're going to feel it a little bit higher. Okay, so we'll hit that hip flexor stretch, 25 foot walking lunge, it's usually 8 to 10 steps depending on how uh, big you lunge. So if you don't have like a 25 foot marker, just go like 8 to 10 steps. A uh, half kneel dumbbell or kettlebell press, just a, a good warm up to get into that lunge position. Um, and we got the dumbbell or kettlebell on the front rack and go one arm at a time all the way up and all the way down while you're maintaining that kneeling position um, on the ground. Okay, single arm plank. Um, it's just a plank with one arm all the way out in full extension. You can go elbows if you want to make it a little easier, I think. I think more of your weight is is being held by one arm if you're all the way on uh, your palms. So you can do that as well. And then you're going to switch every 10 seconds. So you get uh, 30 seconds on each arm going uh, every 10 second switch. Okay. Um, alternating reverse lunge plus two front squats times six to eight. So this is going to be with a barbell or any kind of weight you can use um, in the front rack position. Okay, so we've got the barbell, we clean it up, you do a reverse lunge with your right leg, left leg, two front squats, and that's one, and you're going to do that for six to eight reps. Okay, the goal would be able to do this unbroken without uh, dropping the barbell or dropping the weight, but it's a lot of time under tension, so if you need to drop it, drop it and reset, um, but if, if we're dropping it, it might be a little too heavy, so bring the load down a little bit, you can do it uh, unbroken, okay? Um, seated one arm dumbbell kettlebell press essentially the same thing that we did for a but now we're just seated on the ground Okay legs out in a, in a straight fashion L position on the body and We want to make sure that midline is good and pulled down and we're getting good full range of motion pressing So if we have a kettlebell we can actually kind of hold it down a little bit lower And then we get this big good full range of motion all the way up and down press right dumbbells are a little bit higher Kettlebells you guys should get a little bit lower get a little bit more out of it. Okay, and then the three-point barbell raise there's some old-school bodybuilding you're actually laying on the ground holding the bar in a bench press position and then you're going to bring your legs up to the middle like a leg lift to the middle leg lift to the right weight and then leg lift to the left weight um, and that's one and you can do eight to ten of those so it's a good a good shoulder and like pec uh, stability holding the weight as well as uh, midline core uh, with the v-ups or the leg, leg leg raises so um, shouldn't be a super heavy weight something just to hold there maybe Maybe it's just the barbell. Maybe it's 95 pounds, but it shouldn't be super heavy. Okay. Um, we got a little 40 on, 20 off for three to four rounds. So deadlifts, um, handstand hold on the wall, jumping air squats and push-ups. Okay. Remember things like this. It's kind of like an EMOM. Essentially, uh, you want to be working most of the time, and, and it shouldn't be a super heavy load. So um, deadlifts, excuse me, should be pretty light. We should be moving. We should be breathing. Uh, maybe two sets maximum or the whole 40 seconds. Okay. shouldn't be like... Excuse me, wow. Uh, heavy, heavy, heavy reps for 40 seconds, okay? Um, you want to make the handstand hold harder, uh, go ahead and uh, do some shoulder taps. So if you're ups upside down, you can either tap same shoulder, you tap opposite shoulder while you're holding that. So obviously you have to displace all of your weight onto one arm. It's pretty challenging. Um, give it a try, but uh, it's tough movement. Um, if you don't have a wall you want to kick up on, you can do shoulder taps in a plank position too. So you're holding here, right? Quick all the way over, tap one. Tap one, we'll do that for 40 seconds, okay? Jumping air squats, push-ups. Um, rest as long as you need between sets, okay? Um, that's it for Monday. Remember, you can click on the the link. It'll actually pull up a YouTube video so you can see this um, if you don't know any of the movements. So the ones that are, whoops, I canceled out of it, whoops. Uh, the ones that are bolded out red will uh, be the ones you can click on, okay? So um, have a great week. Have a good Monday. Have a good workout. And let me know if you need anything, okay? Peace out, Wolfpack.